Nobody wins when the family feels Interception Kyrie Jackson You do it You do it Pass defended by Kyrie Jackson You wanna be a boss You got a piece here Attention to mentality, right? And I want you to talk about what's your mentality when you're approaching the wide receiver, right? Talking about press man situations. So what's your mentality when you're getting ready, you're getting locked in, and you're like, you know what, I'm about to lock this wide receiver down? Yeah, my mentality going to the games, uh, um, I don't go off nobody's name. Uh, you're going to have to show me. Uh, right. like, that's my mentality going in every game and really every play, like, Whatever receiver I'm going against, um, regardless if your name is one of the bigger names or one of the smaller names, like I treat everybody the same. Like every single play you line up at the line, you're going to have to really beat me. It's nothing going to be easy, and I would say that's my mentality. Like, and if you catch the ball, I'm going to make you feel. Man, it's a sad day for the DMV community, especially for the family and friends of the victims we're about to discuss. It's tough, man, especially knowing you blessed to be a part of the one percentile and one night. One decision, take it all away. Now the purpose of us making this video is not to point the finger at who's wrong, but point out the public facts that's presented to the public. Let the audience, which is the family members, make a decision at the conclusion. And most of all, hopefully someone can learn from this. But nonetheless, we send love and prayers to those who lost their life. And of course, their family and friends. So without wasting too much time on this one, I want you guys to remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna jump right to it. Family Kyrie Jackson, just 24 years old. He's from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Kyrie went to the University of Alabama and the University of Oregon, where he was a standout cornerback. A couple tattoos too, right? With people that mean a whole lot to me, whether that's family members or anything like that. So I want to ask you, what's your why? Why, right? Like, why do you get up every single morning, and then who do you do it for? I get up every single morning for myself. Um, I want to prove myself right. Um, I'm not in a situation like most where I'm doing this to necessarily get my family out of a struggling situation. I've right. um, always been the person who, since I was five years old, said I wanted to make it to the NFL. But I've also been a person who's heard from a lot of people of uh, the alternative options that you should be able to do. Like, you know, only 1% of people do this. Right. <laughs> and um, to me, that was always just my fuel to the fire. Like, oh, you think only 1% of people could do it? Well, I'm going to show you I'm part of that 1%. So uh, that's my fuel. And then who I do it for, my family. Uh, my little brother especially, um, I feel like I'm trying to get him somebody to look up to. He's 12 years younger than me. Uh, he plays basketball right now. He'll okay, be he's football, a hooper, right? <laughs> you know, I still want him to see, like, you know, this is one of the right ways you can do it. Nah, that's what's up, man. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Oregon cornerback, lockdown cornerback. Let me add in a lockdown. Lockdown cornerback, Kyrie Jackson. He was drafted in the fourth round in 2024 to the Minnesota Vikings. Old draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Kyrie Jackson. While in town for the 4th of July weekend, Kyrie and his friends decided to go bowling and did went to a local lounge. The lounge name was Famous Lounge. It was located in a local shopping center in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. If you look at the story of the Instagram of the Famous Lounge, you can see how that night went. Let's go, Let's go. 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 Let's go.
where all three went to Wise High School. Of course, we mentioned it was Kyrie Jackson, 24, his friend Isaiah Hazel, 23, and his other friend, Anthony Linton Jr., 24. And as the lounge closed, everyone begins to exit. A once late Friday night turned into an early Saturday morning. Just after 3 a.m., July 6, 2024, Merlin State Police have responded to a crash. Northbound, Route 4 in Pennsylvania Avenue, near Presidential Parkway. Three cars were involved, a silver Q50, a silver Chevrolet Impala, and a maroon Dodge Charger. Now, before we continue, it's important to note this. Not just one car, but all three cars were racing, leaving the lounge. A woman identified as Corey Klingman in her early 20s was driving the Silver Infinity Q50, ended up hitting the Dodge Charger that Jackson, Hazel, and Litton were in when they both were attempting to change lanes. The Charger was forced off the right side of the road where it hit multiple street stumps before coming to a rest. Klingman and the 23-year-old from Upper Marlboro then hit the Impala. The Chevrolet sole occupant was not injured. Klingman and her two passengers were also not injured in the crash. Kyrie Jackson was the passenger. He passed away at the scene. May he rest in peace and love and condolences to his family. The driver, Isaiah Hazel, he passed away at the scene. May he rest in peace and love and condolences to his family. The person who was sitting in the rear was Anthony Litton Jr. He passed away at Merlin Capital Regional Medical Center. May he rest in peace and love and condolences to his family. As of now, no one has been arrested or indicted, but this deal is very fresh in an open case. The Merlin Terps have went out and tweet. The Merlin football family mourns the passing of former Terp Isaiah Hazel. Our thoughts and prayers are with Hazel family, loved ones, and everyone involved in last night tragic accident. The Vikings also issued a statement on behalf of their rookie. The statement from the GM, I am heartbroken by the loss of Kyrie, as we got to know him throughout the pre-draft process. It was clear the goals Kyrie wanted to accomplish, both professionally and personally. His story was one of resilience. He was taking steps to become the best version of himself, not just for him, but for those who care about and looked up to him. Kyrie's personality captured every room he was in. I'm devastated that his life and everything he had in front of him has been cut short. My thoughts are with Kyrie's family and friends, those who played with and coached him in college, and his teammates and coaches here at the Vikings. We're talking about a man who never gave up on his dreams, went to Juco because he didn't qualify to play D1, and then went to two major programs before being drafted in the fourth round. Uh, yeah, I was a non-qualifier coming out of high school, so I had to go the junior college route. Um, I wouldn't change it for the world, though. I feel like it, um, you know, taught me a lot of perseverance. It helped me turn me into the man that I am today. Um, I feel like I don't take no shortcuts. Um, I take everything for what it is and, you know, don't really question too many things. I, um, I feel like that mentality has came from Juco and being at the bottom and seeing uh, what it's like to not have anything to having everything going into some of the top programs. So, yeah. Fam, as we wrap this video up, we do want to take the time to say once again, rest in peace to all the victims that we talked about in this story. I love and condolences to you guys' family. This was the story of a football star who managed to make his dreams come true, to come home during the offseason, the same year he gets drafted and lose his life after one incident. Let me know how you guys feel about this one. As more develop, I keep you guys updated. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until then, fam, I'll catch you guys on the next one.